We're going to have a look at some quadratic equation questions from past exam papers for grade 9. Um, I suggest you get a pen and a piece of paper and work these alongside me because it'll give you a really good sense of whether you have mastered this section sufficiently for the exams. Here's our first question. Give it a try. What would be your next step? Okay, this one is actually almost like, it feels like a trick question because in fact they've done most of the work for you, right? It's already there. You've got something times something equals zero. We know when we've got two things multiplied together to give you zero, you either have that equals zero or the other one equals zero. And then solving this, how easy is that? Quickly do this one. And you should have got 2x is 3, and then x is 3 over 2. And on this side, it will follow a very similar pattern, except first you get 2x is negative 3, and then x is negative 3 over 2. Okay, here's one for you to solve. What would be your first step here? Write it down. Okay, hopefully you saw, got an x squared, that suggests quadratic equation. You're fine because you've got equal to zero on the right, so what you need to do first is you need to factorize. And so we have an x and an x. We've got to have two things that multiply together to give us positive 12, but add up to negative 7, and that's going to be negative 3 and negative 4. Now, I've gone very quickly over that factorization. If you are not completely comfortable with factorization, you need to go and revise it before trying to solve quadratic equations because it's all going to rely on the factorization. So you need to be very, very familiar with factorization and be able to do it easily. Okay, next step from here. Easy at this point, right? You just say x subtract 3 is 0, or x subtract 4 is 0, and then that's very simple. You get those two answers. Okay, so first step for this one, write it down. Okay, hopefully x squared triggered the idea, quadratic equation, but we know with quadratic equation we have to have equals to zero on the right, and so your first line will have to be this one. Now we want to factorize here, and we need two things that multiply together to give you negative 12, but add up together to give you plus 1. So if they're multiplying together to give you negative, it's got to be one positive, one negative. Let's look at all the factors of 12. It's 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Um, and it could be that these are the negatives, or you could have the same one, but with these the negatives. And you're looking for a combination there that add up to give you 1. And here, that combination, 4 subtract 3, is what gets me to 1, and so what I have here is a plus 4 and a negative 3. Again, I've gone very quickly through the factorization. If that isn't comfortable or immediately easy for you, you do need to revise it before going to do quadratics, quadratic equations. Okay, and then next step is easy, right? You just say x plus 4 is 0, or x minus 3 is 0, and those are very easy to solve. And as always with equations, if you're sort of suddenly doubting, did I make a mistake along the way? You can actually just check by substituting your values back into the, this side and making sure you get out the right-hand side, right? So let's do a quick little scribble check of that. Uh, is x equals negative 4 really a solution? Well, if we substitute negative 4 in in place of x, we get 16 subtract 4, which is 12. Great. 
we know that then the left hand side is the right equal to the right hand side so we do have a correct solution there let's try the three we substitute it in in place of x we get three squared plus three 3 squared is 9, 9 and 3 is equal to 12, so the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, so we know for sure that our answers are correct. Okay, a final question from a past exam paper, and here they've chosen to use m as the variable. There's no problem with that. See if you can write down the first line of the solution. Okay, so... God equals to zero on the right, so there's no problem there. So what we need to do is factorize. And when we factorize, the first thing we look for is a common factor. And here we do have a common factor of four. So we can pull that out and we get this. What's the next line? Hopefully the next line was also quick and easy for you because m squared subtract 16 is a difference of squares. So we get m subtract 4, m plus 4, and that equals 0. And now, it's simple. Either m minus 4 is 0, or m plus 4 is 0. And so m is 4, or m is negative 4. And we are done.